In the first video of this series, we looked at Xeriscape. The subtitle of that video is Appropriate Landscaping to Conserve Water. We presented several facets of the Xeriscape concept, and they all pointed to one central theme. It is possible to have attractive landscapes while reducing water consumption. It takes understanding plants and design and effective landscape management. And perhaps most important, it takes understanding the relationship between soil, water, and plants. The task seems simple enough. The soil is dry, the plant needs water, and you water it. And maybe in the days of cheap and plentiful water, we really didn't have to worry about much more than that. But of course, it's not good enough that we approach watering with the attitude of just keep it green, or with less random techniques, such as water 15 minutes every other day. Obviously, we have to take a more scientific approach. In fact, we have to strike a sensitive balance. That is, put on just enough water to maintain reasonable plant health and appearance, but no more than that. And we have to keep adding the right amount of water even as weather and environmental conditions change through the year. It is possible to figure all this out, but first we have to grasp a few basics about soil and water and their relationship with plants. 